All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, uh, I wanted to discuss this breaking news uh, that just came across uh, the news desks here uh, about four o'clock today. Um, Gazprom announces a large gas supply deal with China. So for those of you who follow this channel, you know that I have a pretty significant uh, holding of Gazprom and that I thought a couple of years ago might have been the greatest value play on the planet. Uh, and that's kind of borne out in fact uh, with regard to the return that I've had um, since my initial purchase. Um, so let's just get into it here. I'll read a little bit of this uh, news here from Seeking Alpha. Earlier Friday, Gazprom announced a new long-term supply deal with China's state-owned CNPC, uh, with the ticker symbol is SNP, and I actually also own that. Not a huge position, but I own a little bit of that as well. The deal will, will provide 48 billion cubic meters per year of gas to China, with 10 billion cubic meters flowing through Far East Pipeline, and remaining 38 billion cubic meters flowing through the Power of Siberia Pipeline. Gas flows from Russia to China began in 2019 and stand at around 11 billion cubic per meters a year. 48 billion cubic meters uh, per year is 10% of Europe's annual demand level. With European gas prices still sitting near all-time highs, it's unclear why European utilities did not compete for this Gazprom contract. Um, that's kind of a strange sentence from Seeking Alpha there, because it would seem fairly clear to me, and maybe I'm missing something, um, that Russia has 100,000 troops on Ukraine's border, uh, and there's this whole back and forth between Putin and uh, NATO, Putin and the US, Putin and the EU, and so I don't think... Uh, the Europeans really wanted to go uh, hat in hand to Russia right now saying, hey, we need more supply or can you sell this to us instead? And there'd be a big press conference um, on that, unless that was maybe part of a, a, a peace treaty, so to speak, on what's going on. So um, it seems kind of clear why that didn't happen to me. But um, but anyways, let's go into my TD Ameritrade here and let's go. We're going to scroll. We're going to start with Gazprom, and then we are going to go to SNP. So here is Gazprom right here. So you can see I have 13915 as the cost basis. Today's value is 22714 Profit is 8799 The return on that is 63.23%. Uh, so that's uh, quite a strong return. It's actually higher when you look at total return because it's counting the dividends as a uh, cost basis. So, uh, but just wanted to show this here. You can see uh, August 19th of 2020 received $794.23 dividends. So in 2021, I was thinking, oh man, I'm going to get to uh, over $1,000 of dividends. That didn't happen. Uh, I was 686 in 2021. Uh, we'll see in 2022, uh, August of 2022, uh, what that dividend um, turns out to be. I would love for it to be over a thousand. Um, so you can see that that's uh, done really, really well. Let's just go down here to SNP, which is who they made the deal with. So I expect this stock to bump a little on this news. Um, this one I have a smaller holding, 1263 is cost basis. Uh, it's valued at uh, 1148, so it's down 114 bucks. But again, total return wise, uh, it's actually my cost basis is 1092. It's 1114, so it's up um, slightly on a total return basis. But I expect this to probably bounce um, from this news. But let's get into um, this here and pull up fast graphs. And this is a point that I, I've made in the, in the last few videos uh, as someone who is value oriented as an investor, as opposed to growth or momentum oriented. You can think there of a, a Kathy Wood type 
um, you would think value oriented, you would think Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett, uh, so on and so forth. So let's look. This right here is Gazprom. So you look at some information here. It's dividend yield 3.18. Its earnings per share yield is 32.64. Just to give you a sense, the founder of this software, Fast Graphs, Chuck Carnival, likes a 6.5% uh, earnings per share yield. So it is over five times that. I mean, look at its price to earnings. Three times earnings. Three times earnings. Like so much of the market right now, I guess the, the overall index is in the, the low 20s. Uh, you can look at, pull up the Cape Schiller and see what that is on historic. I mean, things are, most people can consider the market richly valued. And yet Gazprom here is three times Blenipi, 3.06 times earnings. Um, you look, there's a geopolitical risk. I get it. You know, but three times earnings for a multi-billion dollar company. Um, so look, and this is this is uh, very interesting here. Here's it normally the normal PE is 10. The fair market PE they always have kind of defaults of 15. It's trading here at three. So look at this gap between this blue dot and this dot here. That is your margin of safety, huge margin of safety. Like so, for example, here this was um, this was basically last year. This was January, February of last year. There's a little bit of a margin of safety there, right? But there's not a massive margin of safety. Look at the margin of safety now. Now, if you go back, and this is when I was buying in 2017, 2018, there was also, I felt, that's why I felt it might have been the best value play on the planet. We can see my the exact date of my first purchase. But, you know, anytime pretty much after 15 into 16, you were really seeing the big divergence. In fact, right here, in 19 also was a huge, huge margin of safety. And you sort of see that as well. Um, so that's fascinating. Let's also pull up SNP, which is the Chinese, China Petroleum. This is who Gazprom did the deal with, just out of curiosity. Um, let's pull it up. So you have a super maniosian and what that means is that when the dividend yield is greater than its price to earnings it means it's been kind of discarded by the market uh, earnings per share yield massive not as massive as Gazprom, but massive again you're getting some margin of safety here i mean look here you know and there wasn't much of a margin of safety it's kind of been trading its fair you know it's normal pe there really hasn't been an opportunity to buy this at much of a I mean, maybe here, this was in 13 for a little, but now you can see there's certainly that margin of safety um, here, which is interesting. And I expect just on the Gazprom news for it to pop. Um, so, yeah, I mean, again, just, just to reiterate my point, you know, there's just so much talk about froth in the market and you have Jeremy Grantham coming out. It's a super bubble and, you know, I would I would counter that and I would quote actually the founder of the software, Chuck Carnival. He said, it's not a stock market, it's a market of stocks, meaning it, you know, he tries to avoid, I try to avoid also talking about the market. What's the market gonna do? Because if you're owning value oriented things like China Petroleum or Gazprom or you know, let's take another uh, another Russian stock right now. Um, you know. Let's take, this is nor less nickel. Um, let's actually go, um, I'll, I'll let it pull up and then I'll go back. I got a big dividend from them uh, the other day. Actually, while it's loading, let me, uh, let me go back here and I will show that again. I'm gonna go here, transactions, and let's go. 70s. What's going on here? 154. Yeah. Look at all these dividends. There we go. Um, this is Gazprom Neft. And then let's find here's uh, Norless Nickel. I got a $65 dividend here from Norless Nickel. And um, 
It's loading slowly here. But nor less nickel is also a super maniosian. Um, its dividend yield is greater than its price to earnings. You can see while it's loading the data, you can still see um, this right here. Um, hmm. Let's do that in a second. But, you know, I just basically, the reason I want to pull that up was to just kind of showcase there are things uh, in the market that are undervalued. Let's, like, let's go to Unum here. Let's take in America. I'm talking about some Chinese, some Russian. So let's just, you know, kind of look at something like Unum. Here you go, like five time, 5.86 times earnings. You know, so there are things out there that certainly um, you can find that are trading in single digit earnings. And here we go. Now it's loaded. So again, a super maniosian. You got 10.17 dividend yield, blended PE, 5.83. Uh, and look at that. Trading also the nice margin of safety. So all of these things I mentioned today have a margin of safety. Uh, SNP, Gazprom, nor less nickel. I just kind of threw in Unum there. Um, but that's what that's how I try to invest. I try to look for these single digit price to earning stocks that have been neglected by the market, forgotten about, discarded, uh, not really glamour stocks, so to speak. Um, so like right now, for example, another breaking story is Peloton is up 40 percent uh, on Amazon acquisition. I'm more interested in owning nor less nickel, uh, Gazprom, uh, China Petroleum than owning than trying to like time Peloton on the. You know, is it is Amazon going to pick it up or not? Just that's more of a momentum growth uh, style of investing. But anyways, guys, um, just wanted to hop on and, and discuss that Gazprom story. Let me know your thoughts, uh, opinions on all that. Appreciate the likes and subscribes. Keep it coming. Take care. Ciao.